And breaking news out of Baltimore. Rescue, cues are rescue crews are searching for survivors after most of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed overnight. Yeah, we've been following this this morning via breaking news via CBS News. The governor of Maryland declared a state of emergency. Authorities say a large container ship hit a bridge column, sending both vehicles and people in the Patapsco River below. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe live in our newsroom right now with his breaking news and the very latest. Mugo, what do you have for us? Yeah, well, we know this is a very fluid situation with information just basically changing by the minute. It continues to be a search and rescue operation. Authorities say they're looking for at least seven people, but that number could be higher. Now, take a look at your screen right now. We want to go back to that video because this is the moment the large cargo ship hit a support beam of the bridge and you can see parts of the bridge collapse there just moments after that collision. We're told several vehicles fell into the river below. The Baltimore City Fire Department said on its scanner that they were construction workers on the bridge when it collapsed. But this morning, the Baltimore City Fire Chief says they're still working to confirm that information. They do say they were vehicles in the river. Now, the cargo ship that struck the bridge was on its way from Baltimore to Colombo, Sri Lanka. Meanwhile, according to Reuters, the ship Ship's owner says the cause of the collision is unknown at this time, but all crew members are accounted for, and there were no reports of injuries to any of them. Some Baltimore residents reacting with shock to this news. Well, my wife, I was sitting there on the, uh, I was half asleep, and she woke me up. She couldn't, I couldn't believe, uh, she's like screaming, and I was like, what's going on? She just told me the key bridge is going. I'm like, yeah, right. I know, right? And then I seen a picture of it, and I was like, Oh my God, you got, you got to be kidding me. Now, the Baltimore City Fire Department is calling this a mass casualty event. The fire chief adding that two people were rescued from the water. One of them refused treatment. The other was taken to the hospital in serious condition. That person so hurt that they were not able to ask him questions or get additional information from them. But again, this is a very fluid situation, very active scene out there. And as, as soon as new information comes into our newsroom, we'll update you. We're live in the newsroom. Magoa Digwe, CBS 2 News.